let's watch the intro. So you'd like to hear about how I got into this mess? How a regular guy ended up half a world away, unconscious in the backseat of a car belonging to a guy he thought he could trust but turned out to be his worst enemy? But maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. I should start from the very beginning. It's the best place, after all. My name is Ben Jordan. I was... Bully. As a kid, I was in love with monster movies and anything to do with the paranormal. My family thought it was just a waste of time, except for my grandfather. Grandpa Arthur used to tell me ghost stories and legends he had heard while traveling through Europe in the 1920s. This really fueled my interest in the paranormal. By the time I finished high school, I was obsessed. I wanted to travel and see if the legends were true, but I had to put my dreams aside and go to college to appease my parents. I ended up studying international relations, which bored me to tears. So I passed the time by reading my books on the paranormal, listening to Pink Floyd, and dreaming of my ideal career. One day I was browsing the web and found a book called The Paranormal Investigator's Handbook by Professor Quincy Sanborn. <laughs> I ordered it immediately and read it cover to cover the day it arrived. It was then that I decided I was going to become a paranormal investigator. So after graduating, I asked my parents to loan me some money, advertised my services on the internet, and sat back waiting for the cases to come rolling in. This is Ben Jordan, paranormal of course, investigator. At the time, I had no way of knowing that the path I'd chosen was going to change my life in more ways than one. <gasps> more ways than one. Hi, Vixie. Case 1, in search of the skunk ape! My first case started off with me receiving a phone call, but not one I was very happy about. Rolling. No, How's Mom, I, I told you. I've decided to become a freelance paranormal investigator. I know you think it sounds crazy, but just trust me on this one. I think I've seen enough episodes of The X-Files to know that there's something out there. <laughs> Look, I have to go. I'll call you back in a few days. There's something out there. I don't understand. It's been three weeks since I posted about my services on those forums. You'd think someone would have called by now. Uh, hello? Yes, this is Ben Jordan. Uh, sir, please calm down. I, I can't understand what you're saying. A skunk ape murdering people in the Florida Everglades? Okay, I'll go there as soon as I can. What did you say your name was? Ranger Morales. Okay, I'll see you soon. Goodbye. It can't be that a week. sure was weird. But I've got a case. Time to buy a ticket to Florida. He's got a case. It can't be a weeb. He's not in the Japanese stuff. It's paranormal. Hello, I'm Ben Jordan. Are you Ranger Morales? I'm afraid not, young man. I'm glad you've arrived, though. What's the matter? Did something happen to him? Come with me. Oh my God, it's Christopher show Walken. You. It's Christopher Walken. Well, here he is. We found him here about an hour ago. My god, what did this to him? It seems that this was the work of a creature that up until now was just a legend. A monster known as the Skunk Ape. I guess I'd better start my investigation then. Ooh! Look at Dead Ranger. Uh, oh. The mutilated body of the ranger is stretched out on the dirt. <laughs> the old ranger looks slightly nervous. You can't really blame him. In the distance, you see a green roof belonging to a nearby building. Touch it. Feeling slightly nauseated, you examine the body more closely. Yeah, nice. You'd really rather not handle another man's organs. The ranger's midsection has been torn open by whatever attacked him. Several of his internal organs are visible. However, you notice that his liver seems to be missing. Somebody ate it with some fava beans! What are all these options? Save, load, quit, question mark... Notes. Oh, uh, that must be an inventory. I have a gun! Question? There is nothing to be learned from asking the ranger questions. 
Oh, that's like how I ask people stuff. You can talk at the ranger all you like. He isn't going to respond. Oh, come on. What do you mean he's not going to respond? There seems to be a tuft of hair clutched in the ranger's hand. Maybe he pulled it off the skunk ape as he was being attacked. Maybe. Get it. Give me this stuff. You pick it up and place it in your purse. Did I say purse? I meant pocket. Why does his accent change? Keep your fingers out of the ranger's face. <laughs> Just because he's dead, that's no excuse for you to be rude to him. <laughs> Someone stabbed him with a ketchup bottle? Oh. Uh... That's good too. You search through the ranger's pockets, but find nothing of interest. Hi, Charlie. He doesn't quit the bulge. Can't stop looking at it. The ranger is wearing a pair of standard olive green pants. The ranger's face is twisted into an expression of sheer horror. Either his attacker caught him by surprise, or he's just shocked at the fact that his innards are currently on display to the rest of the world. The ranger's mutilated and blood-soaked body is stretched out here, the latest victim of the skunk ape. So how do I not do this anymore? Oh, okay. Touch you. You'd rather keep your hands to yourself. Would I though? Would I rather? You can't do anything with the building from here. Fine. It's no use to- Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Just a little jumpy is all. I... I can't walk off screen. Hmm... Walk the water. No, he's in the way. So what do I have to give, uh... Take a look at this. I yeah. found it in the dead ranger's hand. Interesting. That hair doesn't look like it belongs to any animal I've seen in the park. Yeah, I don't know why his accent keeps changing. Where's my chat? Pop up chat. That's better. You're a paranormal investigator, not a murderer. Are you sure? The two items don't go together. Excuse me. Yes? Hmm. What can you tell me about the murders? Oh my, they're horrible. Ranger Morales is the fifth person we've found in the past two weeks. Before that, we lost another ranger, a young woman named Rita Myers. There was also a vacationing couple who were camping out in the woods, and the first person we found was a teenage boy who had gone out hiking. All the bodies have had one thing in common. They're all missing their livers. Missing the livers? Yes. Our best guess is that the skunk ape eats the livers. Yikes. When the Yikes. whole problem started, we found a few deer here and there with their livers torn out, but then we started finding people, and the M.O. just carried over. What do you know about the skunk ape? I don't know any specific facts. The skunk ape was always more of an urban legend. I must take But notes. I have heard a few things. What exactly would you like to know? Everything! What is a skunk ape exactly? It's similar to a yeti or a sasquatch, but we call it a skunk ape because its trademark is a horrible smell. Some have described it as being a mix of rotten eggs, moldy cheese, and dung. That sounds... unpleasant. Dung. It is. 
But the good thing is that that characteristic will make it somewhat easier to track down. I guess. <laughs> Yeti. Is it here? Has anyone actually seen the skunk ape? The only ones who have are dead. So there aren't any survivors or anything I could talk to? I'm afraid not. So if you haven't seen it, do you know what it looks like? Not for certain, but the rumors of its appearance are all the same. It's supposed to be seven feet tall, weigh about 300 pounds, and have a nasty temper. Glad I asked. I'm getting more points! Are there any other animals in the park that might be capable of attacking people like this? Not really. The Florida Panther might be capable of it, but there are so few of them left it seems unlikely that they would be to blame. Besides, they usually keep to themselves. Have you found any evidence as to what might be responsible? The only thing we've found so far is a large footprint near one of the murder scenes. I see. That's all for now. Okay. It's not like taped off or anything either. Tell me about Ranger Morales. I didn't know him very well, but he seemed like a nice guy. Do you know of any reason why he might have been attacked? Not really, no. So far the murders have all seemed to be random. However, he's the first body that's been found so close to the main tourist area. The others have been further out in the woods. If this keeps up, we may have to close the park until something can be done. Thanks for the host fix. This is a nice park you've got here. Thanks. We rangers pride ourselves on keeping this state preserve as pristine and beautiful as we can. It's really a shame that our nation's wetlands are constantly disappearing. Yes, I agree. Can you tell me how to get around the area? Of course. This area isn't really that big. Over there you can see the roof of the visitor's center. Near that is a ranger station and of course there's the forest too. Here, take this brochure. It's got a map so you can find your way. Thanks. Thanks. Tell me about yourself. Me? My name is Ernie. I've been a ranger here at Everglades National Park for over 30 years. Ernie! I love nature. I guess it runs in my family since my brother moved out west to become a medicine man. Aside from that, I really don't know what else to tell you. Short for Ernest. So, now that I know more or less what I'm dealing with, what do you suggest I do? <laughs> well, that's a good question. Obviously, we need to find out why the skunk ape has decided to start killing people and stop it from doing so again. As a park ranger, I'm morally opposed to killing it, but as it has already taken more than one human life, that may unfortunately be the only solution. I think your best bet is to go out into the forest and see if you can find out if the skunk ape has a lair or some place it stays regularly. Of course, you shouldn't go alone, but most of the other rangers have been too scared to go out into the woods since the killing started. I'd go with you myself, but I don't think I'm up for much excitement anymore. You said most of the rangers were too scared to go into the woods. Are there any who aren't? Well, there is one guy, Ranger Rick. But Rick. I don't know if he'll want to go. It's definitely him. It's totally him. You're right. It's him. He's in disguise. That's why nobody's seen this gun gate before, because it's fake, and it's always him. And he doesn't even stink. Or he might. Tell me about Ranger Rick. He hasn't been working here very long, but he's one of our best rangers. The thing about him oh, is, he's extremely superstitious when it comes to nature. He might go into the woods with you, but he might have some weird reason for not wanting to. Well, right now he's my best option. Do you know where I can find him? He should be at the ranger station. Thanks for all your help. Interesting that no this guy's problem. coming up with... If you have any more questions, don't hesitate to ask. Alibis for Ranger Rick, like already, he's like, I might not want to go with you. Excuse me. Yeah. Thanks for all... Nope. If you have any more... How do I get around you? Let me... Let me... Let me walk around you. <laughs> Yo, thanks, Colin. What's up? Let me go to the ranger station! Oh yeah, I have to take notes. I can't type out notes! The two atoms don't. 
You were given this brochure of the Florida Everglades, which conveniently includes a map of the area. You can hear him, like, click to stop the recording. <laughs> you open up the brochure and look at the map. Is this how I travel? We are very south. I guess we are in the Everglades. Forest, visitor center, ranger station, murder scene. Nice. The door leads into the ranger station. That's what I wanted. Get me in there. Go into the woods with me. Yeah, who'd want to do that? You don't think that poster would look particularly good in your room. That's the only reason I don't take it, because it, it wouldn't look good in my room. You'd rather keep your hands to your... Nice weather we're having. Is it? Haven't been outside much today, I'm afraid. I gotta turn the music down. You try to change the station, but see that the knob is missing. It's so loud, make it stop. Can I ask you about some stuff? Sure, what's up? Really, though, what is with his eyes? You? Yes, I am. What can I do for you? My name is Ben Jordan. I was called out here by Ranger Morales. Oh, you're the paranormal investigator guy, aren't you? That's me. Ernie told me I should talk to you. Okay, so talk to me. What can you tell me about the skunk ape? It's terrorizing the woods, that's what. Anything else? Not really. I don't think I could tell you more than Ernie probably already has. Is there anything you can tell me about the recent murders? Terrible, aren't they? It's bad enough to lose your co-workers, but when the public are victims too, it becomes a whole different story. Hopefully something can be done before anybody else dies so horribly. But then that's what you're here for, isn't it? Dang dude, you had to be up early. That sucks, man. And then, yeah, you get even less sleep because of daylight savings. That's ridiculous. Ernie suggested I should find someone to go into the woods with and try to track down the skunk ape. He said you were the guy I should go to. Well, Ben, I'd love to go with you. Really, I would. But with the sudden appearance of the skunk ape, things in the woods haven't exactly been in balance lately. Rolling asleep. I wouldn't feel right going out there without some protection. I have a gun! A rifle. No, I didn't mean that kind of protection. Well, I guess we could look for a pharmacy or something. But I should tell you, that's not my thing. I mean, there's nothing wrong with... Ben, I'm talking about a nature Sex amulet. jokes! Oh, a nature amulet. Of course. <laughs> What's a nature amulet? It's an amulet that wards off evil spirits and attracts good-natured spirits. So if I can get you one, will you come with me? Sure. Okay, so how do I do it? It's complicated. Nature amulets just don't grow on trees, you know. The base is made from an ancient earth object, like a bone or a rock. You'll need some animal hair to make a string so the amulet can be worn. And the amulet needs to be blessed by a shaman. Got it? Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Got it. What's that you're reading? It's part of a series about this kid who wants to be a professional fish tank cleaner. That sounds fascinating. This one I'm reading is part five, where he goes to Bangladesh. Is it any good? <laughs> Someone called one. Not really. It's surprising since the author took so long to write it. Well, I hear that tends to happen a lot. That's some nice music you're listening to. It's the only radio station we get out here. But even this music is better than no music, in my opinion. So what's it like to be a ranger? I like it. It's a fun job. The pay could be a little better. But then the government doesn't send much money our way. Okay, I'm going now. Take it easy. <laughs> a young ranger is sitting on the couch reading a book. This must be Ranger Rick. This must be Ranger Rick. Alright, gotta get me an amulet talisman thing. The window doesn't open from outside. A 
A small window was set into the side of the building. I want her to look in the window. Oh, peep. Oh, notes. Nature amulet. Ancient earth item. An animal hair blessed by a shaman. I already got the animal hair. You can find a shaman. The two items don't. Come on. You open up the brochure. Slash get skin. <laughs> yes. Are you a shaman? You were taught that if you couldn't say anything nice, you shouldn't say anything at all. And now is one of those times. The sign has the words, Save the Wetlands, written on it in a dark red substance. Like paint? That's a nice sign you got there. Thanks. I painted it myself using my own blood. I see. <laughs> I see. Hello. Hey there, young man. <laughs> hey. Tell me about yourself. My name is Lloyd Daniels. I've been living in Florida for the past 20 years. I'm an active member in the community and a staunch environmentalist. Among the things I do are set up fundraisers, beach cleanups, and protests. Who's this open with a stranger? What exactly do you protest? An impossible threat to the environment. You have no idea how angry it makes me to see environmental injustices committed. If I see someone so much as look at a tree the wrong way, I'll go off like a rocket. <laughs> you seem very dedicated to your cause. And how? Ooh, so he's got... Well, wait, he wouldn't kill a ranger, though. Like, that'd just be stupid. This guy's not the skunk ape. Have you ever heard of the skunk ape? Oh, you mean that fabricated story to keep us out of the woods so the developers can bulldoze their way in here and build condos behind our backs? Yeah. So you don't believe it exists? Of course not. Even if there was such a creature, it wouldn't be in the wild for long. Poachers would probably hunt it down for its fur. Jewelry would be made from its teeth. Purses from its hide. I think I get your point. You're right, Colin. He's pretty good at explaining himself. Did you know himself. that the skunk ape has been murdering people lately? Well, it's about time. Excuse me? Man has been murdering nature for centuries. It's not surprising that nature has decided to fight back. Are you saying it's justifiable homicide? Now don't go putting words in my mouth, boy. All I'm saying is, maybe this is the wake-up call people need. Regardless of whether or not some made-up creature is doing it. <laughs> Nice park, huh? Nice? Nice? I don't see what's so nice about a bunch of rangers sitting around at their station eating sandwiches all day. While out here, the wetlands continue to disappear by the minute. I don't know. It seems like the rangers are doing a decent job. Ah, shows what you know. See you around. Hug a tree for me. Oh, boy. You missed a sex joke. I can't believe you left. You left like immediately. You left. And there was this guy. <laughs> talking to Ranger Rick. And we were saying we need to go out in the woods. And he was saying that we needed protection. So I was like, I have a rifle. He's like, I'm not talking about that kind of protection. And then he's like, we go to like a pharmacy or whatever. You know, for like protection. And he's, oh my God, it was great. You need to, you need to go back and see it. You'd rather keep your hands to yourself. No, I want to touch him. The receptionist probably wouldn't appreciate you messing around with his mug. I want it. I want to touch the bird. Hey, please don't touch the display case. <laughs> oh, sorry. Don't tell me what to do. You aren't feeling particularly thirsty at the moment. Yes, I am. There's no need to use the hand dryer, as your hands are not wet. Well, what if I wash them? You flush the toilet and get a strange satisfaction from doing so. Uh, so he said he wanted to go get protection. Protection's like another word for like condoms. 
He's saying that in order to go into the woods with me, he would want protection. So, sex joke. In a fit of kleptomania, you decide to take the whole roll of toilet paper. You never know when it might come in handy, after all. I'm a kleptomaniac? <laughs> you don't need to wash your hands at the moment. You don't have time to play around with the mirror right now. Yes, I do. Alright, get me out of here. How do I get out of here? <laughs> How am I supposed to know what you understand, don't understand? You're a silly British person. Don't always know stuff. Hello. Hello, and welcome to the Everglades National Park Visitor Center. How can I help you? Do you know anything about the skunk ape? Can't say I do. I've never even heard of a skunk ape before. Oh, well, never mind then. <laughs> Have you heard about the recent murders? I think I overheard one of the rangers talking about it. But nobody around here tells me anything, since I'm just a receptionist. I'm pretty clueless when it comes to park gossip. That seems a little unfair. Maybe. But, I... but if people are getting murdered, I'd rather not know about it. What can you tell me about the visitor center? Well, everything in here is God, pretty self-explanatory. I guess I can tell you more about that display case over there, and the animatronic Mikasuki in the next room. What's in the display case? If you read the plaque, you can see that it contains fossils found near this area. Mainly it's just some alligator and shark teeth, and a couple of imprinted rocks. Can I take a closer look? I'm afraid not. We've had problems with tourists stealing the relics. That glass case is there for a reason, you know? What can you tell me about the animatronic Mikasuki? It's a robot of an Indian. It's tacky, politically incorrect, and it gives you a blessing if you put in a coin. Robin. I see. Anything else? <gasps> this is the Broken. shaman! Which is probably for the best if you ask me. I just need a coin now. Tell me something about yourself. What for? I don't know, I was just being friendly. If it's all the same to you, I'd rather not talk about myself. Okay, fair enough. Good question, That's all Lexi. the information I needed. Enjoy your visit! I do not know. The plaque reads, The following items have been found in or around this area of the park. The display case contains several fossils as well as some teeth. No souls. Show me the Mikasuki. Who's Vixie, you're only Vix? Not even true! Don't lie to me. The window offers a fantastic view of an adjacent lake. The poster features a rather boring illustration of the water cycle and its importance to the park's ecosystem. It's a startlingly lifelike animatronic robot depicting a Mikasuki shaman. See? It's you. No, oh, for me. You'd rather keep your hands to yourself. No, I wanna touch it! It's a coin slot, presumably for putting in coins. Wait. It's a coin slot, presumably for putting in coins. There seems to be something stuck in it. Oh yeah, give me that free coin. You can't reach into the coin slot with your fingers. It's just a robot. It won't talk back. He walked over there, I thought he was going to try to talk to him. It's just... What a waste. Wasting my time. On the counter is a white mug. Written on it are the words, My other cup is blue. Stick my dick in. Yeah, I, I don't know. That might be too, uh, too small. What else?
else that I need? Earth item and animal hair. How do I get to Earth You're item? not particularly in the mood to go climbing at the moment. I want to hug the tree. He told me to. A large and old-looking tree stands majestically beside the visitor's center. How is he going to get the coin out? I don't know, man. The toilet paper? It's the only other option right now. It's the toilet paper you took from the visitor center bathroom. Eh. Yup. An enormous tree has been uprooted and overturned. You wonder if this was caused naturally, or if it was the skunk apes doing. Skunk ape You see nothing trees. of interest around the overturned tree. It's not true. The tree's bark feels slightly sticky from the dried sap that is collected on it. Spin. <laughs> sure, at least average. Don't compare ourselves to others. Yeah, there's a lot of gingers. Game's all ginger. A large tree stands here, casting a shadow over the rest of the area. You notice a few holes in the tree's bark where there's some dried sap. That doesn't seem to work. Why not? A few blades of grass are growing out of the ground here. Tell your sister that she may feel special. Is she, uh... You have no use for grass. Also a ginger. <laughs> Can't all be white and run down. <laughs> Lick it. I, I won't let me take it. The tree's bark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me uh no, not this. I'm gonna load up my rifle with some bark. Shooting that with the rifle wouldn't be very productive. Are you sure? What's the point of this? Hmm. The two atoms. Yeah. These are the only places I can go. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Just a little jumpy is all. <laughs> she has no soul. Go back to the museum, shoot the guy, take the <laughs> Could work. Excuse me. Yeah. Thanks for- No problem. If you have any- Yeah, 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 yeah. You're a paranormal investigator, not a murderer. Still the Indian shaman. <laughs> I might need help. Why did I take the TP? What would I need that for? I can tell them there's no TP in the bathroom and then steal the stuff, right? Yeah? Interesting setup you've got. Yeah, the tourists seem to like it. Hello. Hello, and welcome to the Everglades National Park Visitor Center. How can I help you? That's all the information I needed. Enjoy your visit. I'll clog the toilet. How about that one? With childish delight, you toss the entire roll of toilet paper into the toilet bowl. Really? 
now is not the time for that. Now is not the time for that, whatever that is. You flush the toilet. Oh dear, it seems that you're throwing the toilet paper into the toilet has caused it to become clogged. Oh dear. <laughs> Interesting setup you've gotten here. No, just yeah. The but, tourists seem to like. I no, I clogged the toilet. Hello. How, how can I? That's all. The Enjoy your. How do I make you go to the bathroom? The reset. On the counter is a. You aren't feeling per. Kill him. Hey. Oh. You're a paranormal. I tried. Be distracted, man. Come on, I did it. You've done enough damage as it is. No need to flush the toilet again. Why not? You don't need to wash your hands at the moment. Yes, I do. I just flushed the toilet. You don't have time to play. There's no need. Murder is the easy solution. I did it! You'd rather keep your. Come on, man, go to the bathroom! Black holes on the wall. Like this? Right here? I guess it's like a silhouette of uh, something in the museum or whatever. Spiders? No. <clears throat> the poster features a rather boring illustration of the water cycle and its importance to. Oh, in the bathroom? Yeah, probably. The window spiders. offers a fan. I don't know. How do I get the coin? It's a coin slot. Presumably for putting in coin. There seems to be something stuck in it. You can't. There's nothing in the coin return at the moment. Bummer. It's you. No. Oh. Go to the bathroom! Something to unstick the coin? True. Shoot it! Oh, brilliant! I really want to know what this rifle's for and why I have it. That's a nice sign you got there. Thanks! I painted it myself using my own blood. Nice. Hello. Hey, see you around. I'll get you. Hug a tree for me. Ranger house. That's true, I should go back there and talk to that guy again. He's the only place I haven't revisited yet. The two items don't go. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Why in a minute? Why not right now? <laughs> Hands are full of cuppa. You search through the drawers and find a box of diuretic water pills. Yes! I get to give him the runs! <laughs> this is so funny. I keep clicking notes on the backpack. My god, I really I am a jerk.
I think I've said Kappa like twice in my life. That being the second time. Every time. You take the opportunity to slip a water pail into the receptionist's drink when he isn't looking. It quickly dissolves. I'm right in front of him. The receptionist takes a big gulp from his mug. For a while, nothing much happens, but then... Oh man, that water went right through me. Excuse me a second, will ya? <laughs> Why would he go? He's going the long way. What a noob. Obviously not a speedrunner. Oh, I don't believe this. The toilet is broken. I have to find some place to pee. <laughs> See ya, dude. Thank goodness for that tree over there. He's about to pee on the tree! <laughs> public, the? public urination! Then you need a fight? Hey! Just what in the name of Gaia do you think you're doing? Ah, uh, well, the bathroom isn't working, so I thought I, I just... Drown this poor tree in your vile waste product? How would you like it if someone decided to relieve themselves on you? Uh, I guess I wouldn't. Of course you wouldn't. I suppose you think it's okay just because it's a tree. Well, I mean, it's not like you can feel it. Oh, is that what you think? <laughs> I've got some information for you, sonny boy. The man proceeds to yell at the poor receptionist, who looks as though he fears for his life. This could go on for quite some time. Got him. Give me this. Since the receptionist is currently occupied, you swap a shark tooth from the display case. Nice. Can I use that to uh, get the coin out? The shark tooth might work, but you don't want to risk damaging it. What? Come on! You can't use That doesn't seem to work. Doesn't seem to work. Alright, Con, here we go. Your solution to everything. Shooting that with the rifle wouldn't be very productive. The game's just wrong, Con. I'll give you, you know, I, I say you're right on that one. The game just doesn't know what it's up to. Okay, we got we got this stuff. The hair is too short and bristly to be woven into a necklace. You'll need to find a way to keep it together. Hmm. So do you like mud or something from uh, <clears throat> the forest? <laughs> he sounded like he might actually be <laughs> He was a little unsure about it. He's kind of hesitant, like, oh, maybe. Oh, wait, can I get this? You quickly take the sign into your possession. All right. I wonder if I can use the sign to get the thingamajigger coin. These are my notes. Is that what you want to fix me? You can't. No. Coin slot. That doesn't seem to work. Liar. Can I just use the map from here? Dang it, dude. The two. I Feeling no remorse, you viciously stab the tree with the pointed end of the picket sign. 
If the environmentalist saw what you were using his sign for, he'd kill you. <laughs> I could only hope. Being careful not to get any on your hands, you soak the hair in the sap. Ah, oh, yeah. You manage to weave the sticky hair into a necklace and attach it to the shark tooth. Ah, oh, yeah. Now we got our amulet. We just need to get blessed by the shaman. Can we get the coin somehow? <clears throat> I actually have like no idea how to get this coin though. What's behind his desk? Sticky. Good question. I still have the sign somehow. Even though it's. Oh, never mind. That's just sap coming out. That doesn't. That. That doesn't. You see nothing. You have no bummer. Uh. You had sticky hair when you accidentally poured oatmeal on it. How'd you pour oatmeal on your hair? Here's my amulet. You haven't gotten the amulet blessed yet. Oh, come on. You haven't got time to sit down right now. I want to pick a coin up from under the cushions. Come on, man. It's a map of the Everglades. Neat. The two... Sat down, fell back, and oatmeal fell out. Sounds like a bad time, I'm sorry. The receptionist probably wouldn't appreciate you messing around with his mug. He wouldn't appreciate me messing around with his mug, but he wouldn't mind that I stole a shark tooth from the display case. Because that happened already. You aren't fe I am thirsty. The plaque won't budge. You don't need anything else from the display case. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I'll give it a diuretic so it pees out coins. You can't you You stick the pen into the slot and whatever was blocking it falls through the machine and into the coin return below. Yes! Hmm. Hello, welcome to Everglades National Park. I am Sharpen Sawgrass, the Shaman. For your generous donation, I will now give you good fortune by performing the Blessing Dance. The robot begins some horrible gyration. This really is the most insulting thing you've seen in a long time. Gyration. <laughs> Chill outside for a little bit because it's nice out. Thanks for the good luck, Colin. Say cushions. Cushions. You didn't. Wait. Yeah, cushions. <laughs> he stole your moves. Every time. Bless my thingamajig. You place the amulet in the robot's hand. It blessed!
Wait a minute. Stay there. Go. Let me. Secret Island of Dr. Quandry. That's the movie you used to get dates. Sure, I'll play that, whatever that is, Charlie. You reach into the coin slot and find a quarter and an odd little piece of carved rock. Carved rock? An arrowhead? What do you mean, an odd little piece of carved rock? That's very clearly an arrowhead. <laughs> With the amulet on the robot, you insert the quarter and hope this does the trick. Hello, welcome to Everglades National Park. I am Sharpen Sawgrass, the Shaman. For your Sharpen generous donation, Sawgrass. I will now give you good fortune by performing the Blessing Dance. After the robot concludes its little jig, you remove the amulet from its hand. It hasn't exactly been blessed by an authentic Shaman, but you hope Rick won't notice. Sure it has. It says shaman right there, it's a shaman. Or shaman. And I always say, oh, it's got lines around it now, that means it's blessed. No, wrong one. Yep. You open the map. Let's look that up. Secret Island of Dr. Pondry. I don't know anything about this. Never seen it before. I'd play it though. Looks like a similar sort of point and click type thing. That doesn't seem to work. Here, I got you your amulet. Hey, great. Okay, we'll be ready to go as soon as I get a few supplies together. I'll meet you outside the station in a few minutes then. What kind of supplies? I'm skeptical. He's getting together his skunk ape outfit. Here we are. This area is where we found all the other victims of the skunk ape. All of them. And we're going to camp here? Yeah, the skunk ape is probably nearby. I think this will be a good place to start tracking him from. How exactly are we going to find him? We'll go out looking for him later. In the meantime, I'm going to start setting up the tent. You can look around if you want, but be careful you don't get lost. It may not seem like it, but it's really easy to lose your way out there. In fact, here, take my compass. It should come in handy. Thanks, I guess. I'm skeptical of this man. MS DOS point and click. The art is creepy. <laughs> Just as well here. You look through Rick's backpack and find a small bottle of nasal decongestant. Hey Rick, mind if I borrow this for a little while? Not a problem. Be my guest. Okay. The tent is in the process of being assembled. No kidding. Rick is currently setting up the tent. No kidding. He's busy setting up camp. You... He's busy... Yeah, well... It feels like wood. <laughs> it's a stump! No kidding it feels like wood. The log can't be moved. Unbelievable, dude. The two items. Do the compass feels cold and metallic. You're currently off the map. It won't be much use to you. What? Well, let me use the compass. I want to go places. How do I leave? Oh. Oh, don't get 
lost. <laughs> it feels like wood. Like, amazing. Do we want to keep track of where we're going? That's probably smart, right? You don't want to weigh yourself down by carrying a bunch of rocks around. How do you know what I want? Okay, I guess we're not going that way. It's a tree. There's quite a few of these around, being that this is a forest and all. Nice. It's just a bush. You You'd rather not touch it. How do you know? Huh? Who, who says? Why are you making all these decisions for me? Not really sure how it happened. Is there... Probably take you a bit to figure out. Is there something that tells you where to go? And I just haven't found it, or is it actually just like luck? Okay, so there's rocks and there's no rocks. Useful. Uh... He's busy setting up camp. You can talk to him later. I don't want to know where to go. Oh, I didn't even see if my compass was changing orientations. North. Still has north up though. So if I keep going north, I just end up back at camp somehow. <clears throat> What? It's Rick's trusty stainless steel compass. He gave it to you so you wouldn't get lost. Doesn't tell me where to go. It's an arrowhead, carved from what appears to be flint. The sign reads, Save the Wetlands. It's a bottle of nasal decongestant. The label says not to overuse it. Hmm. Vice, do you always end up with all of the points, or um, are there like things that you can miss in this game? Like in uh, King's Quest, they give you miss stuff, or whatever? don't always get 100% and sometimes you actually like, can't complete the game if you do things out of order. This doesn't seem to be like King's Quest though, it doesn't seem like you can mess up. A small pile of rocks litter the ground. It's a tree. There's... Mm, tell me better things.
But that's where I just came from, and now it's different. I thought the skunk ape's lair. You don't see the need to use the decongestant right now. Why not? It's a stump. It looks like it's been used as a seat before. Some games are 100% on the some games are not 100% don't actually remember. You don't have to be in the series twice, so I get lost sometimes. Happens. It's a log. It looks like it's been here for a while. Rick brought along his backpack, presumably where he's keeping the supplies. I'm actually correct because I have to be in the forest maze first. <laughs> yeah, because then I'll get the hippie mad at me, and then he'll come over here, and then the skunk ape will smell him out, or he actually is the skunk ape, or whatever, and I don't really know. You spray the nasal decongestant in your nose and take a deep breath. That sure cleared out your sinuses. Oh. You take a deep breath. You think you smell something to the north. Oh. Wow. Inhale deeply. There's definitely something smelly to the east. Oh. On to something. Okay, what's the reason? You take a deep breath. You think you smell something to the north. Enlighten me, Vix. Taking a deep breath, you notice a strange odor which seems to be coming from the west. Getting a lung full of air, you determine that there's an odor coming from the south. Enlighten me. Teach me, what's the reason? Taking a deep breath, you notice a strange odor which seems to be coming from the west. You take a deep breath. You think you smell something to the north. <laughs> you can't remember! Come on! Taking a deep breath, you notice a strange odor which seems to be coming from the west. It's a large mound made from dried leaves and grass, plastered together with mud. It definitely isn't natural. Someone, or something, built it. A dark entrance leads further into the mound. You can smell a faint but foul odor coming from within. If I walked all that way, sniffing out this thing, and now the odor's just like faint? This mound gives you the creeps. You'd rather avoid touching it unless absolutely necessary. No, but I should say you're right. I don't know which of the... Uh... 
half asleep right now. Into Upon the mill entering beast. the mound, you're struck with a distinct odor of rotten eggs, moldy cheese, and dung. Man, it stinks in here. I guess I found the skunk ape's lair. Found it. A large pile of dried grass and leaves is assembled in the corner. This must be where the skunk ape sleeps, especially if the smell is any indication. In the center of the lair is a large hole. Unfortunately, it's too dark to see how deep it is or if there's anything in it. This is where he poops. There is a small pile of bones on the ground. They look distinctly human. On the wall are some dark red stains. You suddenly get a sick feeling in the pit of your stomach. Give me the bones. You don't want anything to do with the bones. What? They give you a very uneasy feeling. Give me the blood. You'd rather not investigate the stains any further. Why not? Searching the nest, you find a large stick. A stick. Oh, let me make a spear. The two items don't go together. Yes, they do. It's not a very good idea to stick your hand into dark and potentially dangerous places, sure so is. you don't. I disagree. I'll give him the sign. He wants the sign, right? That. That. Tried. Is he gonna be outside? No. That was uneventful. I feel like there's something I didn't do. Hey, I found this stick. You don't want to give that away. <laughs> Why would I want it? It's just a stick. You. I messed up somewhere. I'll load that. So I don't have to do the thing again. You can just. Side. Man. A lot in the on on you there you met it. searching the there's nothing else worth taking from the nest. Sniffed out the lair. That doesn't seem... That... That... That does... That... The two items don't go together. I don't want them to. I don't know what else to do. That doesn't seem to work. That does. That does. That does. There's nothing else here. It's just the hole, the nest, stains, the bones. I can't take the bones. Maybe I'll just go and talk to the guy. Ranger Rick. Can I set the mound on fire? It's a large mound. A duck. This mound. You can just walk inside if you want to enter. Well, 
trying to do with item combinations. But what to combine? Can I just talk to him? He's busy, sit. Yeah, well. Mm. Struck. Wait, what? I didn't think that was going to work. I want to hear what he said. I broke the compass. Upon me. Striking the steel compass and flint arrowhead together creates a spark. Oh. The nest is probably very flammable. But lighting the whole thing would probably cause a massive fire, especially considering this whole place is made from sticks and leaves. That's the point, right? Don't I want to set it on fire? There's nothing else worth taking from the nest. You strike the compass and arrowhead, and light the stick with the resulting spark. Careful not to burn yourself. Be careful. Come on. Give me this. Yeah. Your heart beating quickly, you toss the lit stick into the pit. Cocaine! Rick! What's the matter, Ben? You look like you've seen a ghost. I found the skunk ape's lair. Was it inside? Luckily, no. But I looked around and found a big hole in the ground. Inside the hole, I found a whole bunch of packets of cocaine. Cocaine? Are you sure? Well, I doubt the skunk ape is collecting sugar. Why would there be a stash of drugs in the skunk ape's lair? Your guess is as good as mine. Well, good job on your discovery, Ben. I'm sure we'll figure out the deal with the drugs. So what do we do now? We should check out the lair together. But I think we should wait until dark, just in case the skunk ape is around. We have a better chance of not being detected under the cover of darkness. Okay, sounds good to me. I've just finished setting up camp. Why don't you get a fire started and then we'll cook some dinner. Alright, I'm on it. Why would you wait until dark? And I realized that a career in international relations wasn't what I wanted. So I decided to become a freelance paranormal investigator. That's an interesting career option. I don't think there'd be much call for that sort of thing nowadays. But then here you are, so I guess you made the right choice. I've been wondering about something. Has the skunk ape ever been active before this set of attacks? Not that I can remember. I mean, there were stories about it, but never any actual evidence of its existence. It's weird that it would just start attacking people for no reason. Well, maybe not no reason. There has to be some explanation for the drugs in the cave. Speaking of which, I think it's about time we headed over there and checked it out. Have you got your rifle handy? Yeah, I've got it right here. You know how to use it, right? Um, well, no, actually. I've never really fired a gun before. You better oh God, let me carry me. it then, just in case we get into trouble. Okay, here you go. Alright, let's get going. I just gave over the gun to the murderer, he's gonna shoot my brains out! So this is it, huh? This is it. Are you sure it's a good idea to be going in alone? If the skunk ape is in there, I'll just come back out. Okay, I've got you covered. He's the skunk ape! No, save first. Much to your relief, you see that the skunk ape has not returned to its lair yet. Suddenly, you hear some commotion outside. Be careful, Ben. This thing means business. Alright, you stinking ape. Get ready to meet whatever crazy entity made you. What? You're going to shoot it? Do you know how much the Smithsonian would pay to have one of these things on display? <laughs> I can make enough money to get out of this swamp and start a real life. But, but I thought you said you liked being a park ranger. You try spending your days being bitten by mosquitoes and lectured by smelly old hippies and tell me how you'd like it. Now, smelly old hippies. Excuse me. I have to shoot this animal. Rick, look out! 
What the? What the? It's a murder! <laughs> After running for what feels like hours, you finally seem to have lost the skunk ape. Now it's just a question of finding your way out of this forest. Dude got pulled in half! No memes! Some <laughs> Resident Evil type. It is! The welcoming light through the window suggests that someone is home. It's a large stone chimney. Seems you found the source of the smoke. It's a shabby wooden door. Hello? You decide to see if anyone is home. Just a minute. <laughs> no, could that be at this time or not? Not a ginger. Who is it? My name's Ben Jordan. I'm being chased by a giant monster. Oh, yeah. That sounded perfectly reasonable. Crazy kid. Alright, hold on a sec. <laughs> Come on in. Come on in. Thanks, sir. I really appreciate you letting me in. Call me Jed. You ain't from around these parts, are you? No, actually, I'm not. So what are you doing out in the woods this late at night? Have you ever heard of the skunk ape? Did you say the skunk ape was chasing you? Yeah, you know about it? Boy, you've been living in the woods as long as I have. You've seen everything. How'd the skunk ape find you anyway? Well, I found him, actually. I was looking for his lair with a ranger from the park. I see. And did you find it? Yeah, we were looking into that when the skunk ape showed up and killed the ranger. You don't say. Well, Ben, I'm gonna go call a friend of mine. He'll be able to help you get out of here and back to safety. Make yourself at home in the meantime. I'll be right back. <laughs> so he's not a ginger, but he's got a mullet and a gap Jed tube. disappears into the next room. You're left with a somewhat uneasy feeling, particularly because you thought you noticed his attitude change a bit when you mentioned the skunk ape's lair. He's gonna murder me! What do I do now? You Jump don't want to burn yourself. Jump in the fire. You haven't got time to sit down in front of the fire right now. Why not? I have a spark. Set the house on fire. Don't set that on fire, you pyromaniac. I'm a klepto too, so why not? A large fire is crackling in the fireplace. It says coke. It's a fireplace made of stones. There's a medium-sized wooden chair on a rug in front of the fireplace. Medium-sized? Looking out the window, you see the dark forest outside. It makes you glad to be in here. It's the cabin's somewhat shabby wooden front door. A darkened doorway leads to another room in the cabin. Well, I guess I should have told you not to come in here when I said make yourself at home. Wait a minute, those were your drugs in the skunk ape's lair? That's right. I was wondering how you'd manage to get away. Usually the skunk ape manages to protect my stash from anyone who gets too close. So you've been using the skunk ape to guard your drugs? How? It's pretty simple, really. I go into the city and steal the drugs for myself off the ships in the port. Then I hide them out here in the middle of the woods where the police wouldn't think to come look. One day I happened to find the skunk ape's lair. It was going to do me in until I remembered I had some cocaine in my pocket. Don't tell me you. Yeah, I gave the skunk ape a little taste and he loved it. <laughs> From that day forward, he was like a big stinky pet. That's so cruel. So I took advantage and started using his cave. I had managed to get an electronic collar on him so I could give him a little shock if he gets out of control. Or if I need to give him a call. Like right now. You're a sick bastard, you know that? I've been called worse. Now say hello to my little friend. He's gonna break the wall? Kool-Aid man! <laughs> Don't 
Don't set that on fire, you pyromaniac. Why not? That's the most logical thing to do. You don't want to give that away. You're right, I want to hit him. Kill you him. don't want to give that away. Oh, murder him! That doesn't seem... Did I just screw myself? Well, that outcome wasn't very good. By saving... Let's try that again, shall Immediately we? before dying? Well, I... Wait a minute. Okay. Do some cocaine makes me stronger than I can fight the skunky. Easy. Give me this. You have no interest in the cocaine. Yes, I do. Leave it Running away would surely equal instant death. Why? You better stand and fight. I'm trying. That's the second largest pile of cocaine you've ever seen. Second largest? <laughs> you don't want to give that away. I'm trying to give it away. You don't want that. Get mad. Well, that outcome was. Well, let's get that out. I'm trying to set it on fire, but I won't let me do that. Running away would sure running away. Jed is looking at you with a crazed grin on his face. It's the skunk ape. It's huge, smelly, and looks angry enough to rip someone's head off. You'd better think quickly, or it'll be yours. It's a medium-sized and somewhat rickety-looking table. Thinking quickly, Flip the table. lunge towards the table. Ha! Hugs. Oh. <laughs> he didn't quite get a hug. Ben, you're back already? What happened? It's a long story. Well, that happened. But the skunk ape won't be a problem anymore. What about Rick? He didn't make it. What a shame. Well, I guess you've done your job, so I'll write you a check for your services. Thanks, Ernie. I'd stick around, but I'm in a desperate need of a shower. Alright, Ben. Take care of yourself. Ranger Rick was just pulled in so half, and all you can think about is showering. Investigating thing, and managed to survive it. Needless to say, the next few months will be filled with more mysteries and danger than I ever thought possible. But those are stories for another time. Fantastic. Thanks for the GG. I I don't I whatever man. <laughs> like the dude got pulled in half and he's like, oh, how long gonna take a shower? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh you handled it, cool, alright, here's your check. Yeah, and like The skunk ape is still there. He just killed another person. Oh, he's not gonna be a problem anymore. Don't worry about it. Not gonna be a problem. Give me a check. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> what up, Jimro? Hey, nice beer.
You Illuminati! Senor, I have good news. We found another one. Excellent. Excellent. Execute order 66. Oh, it just closed! <laughs> well, okay. Alright. Uh, oh, the other thing that I had to do 